Have I watched and talked about G2 Macro gameplay yesterday? Yeah, people mentioned it in chat. So the reality is that G2 played really well yesterday, yeah. So the lane swap that they think that they did was kind of smart, but it looked also better than it is because enemy responded very poorly against it. And once you get a hat in that lane swap scenario, G2 is really good at keeping the lead and snowballing the lead. Yeah, they're fucking good. G2 is fucking good, yeah. What about Caps? I think he's doing pretty good here. Caps does well every year in Europe. It's nothing new, guys. I can tell you what's gonna happen, okay? Caps shits everyone in, in Europe, then we walk into Worlds, and he doesn't shit everyone as hard at Worlds as he does in EU. And then eventually EU loses at Worlds, and everyone is like, Oh, every mid laner in our region just sucks. Uh, have you seen Caps versus an Asian mid? Uh, uh, he's not good. Uh, uh, and then like, boom. And then next year happens, and it's just rinse and repeat every year. We need a maid champion. Do we know what a maid champion is, chat? If I pick Vagar, what are the chances they pick Cassidy in her? Quite high. Please don't, please don't cast it in me. Vladimir! Ooh! We got a nice matchup! I love it. You got no key pressure, you can free farm. Yeah, it's not a bad matchup for Vladimir, but it's also not a bad matchup for Vagar. If you have kids one day, will you teach them Luke? Not sure if I'll still be playing League if I have kids, you know. Build this game is Shuralia because we're, we have Karma and uh, Caitlyn. I need Shuralia into the champions to play the video game. Boink. Plus two. We're just gonna farm. Boink. Boink. Ooh, do I have to run there? I think I do. Look at the wave. I can I can probably run there. What? She got oh. Oops. That's a misclick. Uh-oh. It's okay. Maybe I won't need the flash in this matchup. So far the lane is okay. I have it in a pretty safe spot, so I can just keep farming. A fighting bot. Dude, we've been camping this Caitlyn for two minutes straight. I'm not even kidding. Like poor Caitlyn, you know what I mean? Wait, this guy has still flash too? And that guy has still flash? And Melissa came about to die? That's pretty good news. And what is she doing? <laughs> there is so much action button. Meanwhile, top and mid just chilling on their lanes. Kinda wanna queue him to proc mana flow. Boink. There we go. Vladimir not having boots early means that it's pretty easy to queue him as he doesn't run really fast. Just gonna keep farming. Uh, spellbook in two minutes. Probably gonna ideally TP at like level uh, minute six, probably. Then I can, after TP, stop to ignite. Like he's becoming shorter cooldown, so now I can do more Qs on him over time. I need to tank this so the minion doesn't crash the tower, so the wave is still in front of us. I'm slowly going boom because the higher level you go, the more you're spamming your Q. And your Q also becomes a little bit more mana on the spell cast. So eventually, as Vagar, you go um, but that's why you have TP. And I think this timer right here... Actually, no, this is not a good timer to use the TP. Because he probably based right now, so I should stay and push. I don't know if it's flash, though. What if I get ganked? And it's gonna be an 07 mob angle. Yeah, he took a base. He might go back to lane. It's very possible here. Maybe he won't. He's probably gonna buy tier 2 boots. He's not gonna lose almost anything though. He lost no minion. Such is life. Um, let's buy this and buy this. There's an eclipse today, really? We're gonna take ignite. Ignite against Vladimir, kinda important. Think about Vladimir's Vega is that you in early game, uh, it's very hard to ever kill him because he always has pull for your ultimate. So it's mostly just a farm lane. Late game though, you can kill him much easier because Vladimir doesn't buy any tenacity so if you ever get him into a cage, he dies quite quickly. You also have a lot of burst late game with your W and ult and stuff like that so it's harder for him to pull every spell then. You have to use three spells as Vagar to land one. <laughs> That's how it works. I 
And now I have a lot of burst, and now I'm playing Ignite. Rakan stole the kill though, that's the only unfortunate part, because now I don't get blue buff. Which means that I'm gonna stay here, try to push this wave in right now, and then immediately base TP. I'm gonna tank this Q, because I don't really care about it. And we're gonna take a base. And with this base, I'm also a perfect goal for a thousand to get Band Glass Mirror. I'm basing in a really good spot again. Just gotta wait a little bit in base. Vladimir wants to base too, that's really interesting. What is he gonna buy even? Like Amplifying Tone? Maybe he buys either Wisp like me. He didn't buy either Wisp. Oh, I'm anything. Gotta be careful. I can't lose too much HP because then he can ghost me down and all in me. And even tower dive me. Vladimir can easily tank uh, insane amounts of tower shots due to his W. So you never can be like 50% HP because then you're just, he has lethal in you instantly. That is how the matchup works. So right now at this particular moment of the game, it's probably the hardest point of the matchup because um, I don't have any defensive item yet. I'm kind of squishy, I don't have a lot of lava set and stuff. I mean, he is caged, guys. Like, you gotta go when he's caged, you know? Nice! That is a really good outcome. No flash. Now he can just do this. He's that. <laughs> really good. Like, I love that. Since he died at level 9, his death timer is not very short. So we can stay and get, you know, the wave in plates. Question is, should I base here or do I stay for one more? I'll just see if the recoil goes through. It did go through. I was lucky. I think I'm gonna go exhaust here. It's a rare thing for me, but usually I go ghost on second spellbook, but here I think exhaust might be better. And now we're just gonna go Rabadon. Very simple Vega build. Well, he has no flash and he has to stand in the cage in a long, for a long time. Not the best Rakan W though. He's really close to dying, but his pool is about to come up, so now if I ult, it's not gonna work. Oh, if I flash ulted, he was dead. Ah. Think about Vladimir is he can always keep sustaining up, right? He ulted for HP. Now he's sustaining up on Raptor still. Rakan Vegar, obviously excellent combo, it's Rakan just CCs and makes you land QW and then you can just execute somebody. It's really nice synergy. You can see how much Rally and Wuspit helped me in those fights of kiting and spacing against things. This is also flashed on me. I'm gonna base. Unfortunately, it's one of those moments where you don't base on 2.5 but you base on 2.1. So now I have 850 gold that I can't really spend anything on. It's a bit annoying that this happens, but this is like, this is the weakness of Rabadon's build path. Matchup doesn't look fa fair for Vladimir. No, this, uh, historically speaking, this is a counter to Vegar, by the way. Like, not right now, current version of Vegar is okay enough against Vladimir. But historically speaking, if we're talking about years in the past, Vegar, uh, Vladimir was a counter to Vegar. I'm not kidding. You can see how the stun duration is no long enough because I have points into the ability that you know if he ever gets stunned I can do a lot of spells and he can't really pull because he's stunned. I actually killed the wolf roll, that was kind of funny. He didn't pull that. <laughs> he wasn't expecting me to ult him. But the ult is super short cooldown so I just flipped it to see if he had reaction time or not. A funny little experiment. Should be able to get the tower now. I 
okay. Got his ghost. Ah, he wanted to flash kill me. I could be dead there, honestly. I could have died. I kind of flipped it. I think I kind of flipped it there. Go Rabadon though, let's just base and play it safe. So now I have, because I have a really early Rabadon and a lot of stacks, I gotta be kind of careful how many points I put into W now, because what you're gonna see now is that if I have another point in W, the melee minions will get one shot already and that would ruin a lot of my stacking. This is something you have to kind of be careful when you play Vagar. But also now that I have Rabadon, I can do this, which is just W and just steal all the small ones and stack on them and then potentially do the big one too. Although this one takes a li little bit longer. But yeah, I am really, really fat, obviously, right now. Bonk. <laughs> Vagar laugh when you kill an opponent. It's just iconic. I hope it never gets changed. This is the best thing about Vagar. This is why Vagar players like Vagar. Vagar is like a trash talk type of champion, you know? Cocky, trash talk type of champion. <laughs> My damage. Almost 300 stacks at me at 18. I feel like it's a stack record for me, maybe. Seriously, and I have so much AP now that 3 points W is killing the minions already. Alright, that killed her. Yo, we have no minions, that's a bit of a problem. I'm last hitting everything as slowly as I possibly can to make sure I maximize stacking. Since I'm really far ahead, I actually think maybe buying Seraph here is actually better than buying like something like Criblum. Because enemy will not buy any MR and this gives me damage plus haste plus survivability, which is I think more important than Criblum. So yeah, let's just buy Seraph. You can see the amount of AP I have right now does not look very balanced. Bye, Caitlyn. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. I'm dead. I, my bad camera movement by me, I didn't realize that my teammates were actually losing here and there were three people alive. I missed, I overstepped a little bit. Now we have more options. We either go Criblum. I could also go with the Fancy item because I'm really ahead. Randlins is fine. Deadman Split is pretty good. And a Tema Chain on Vladimir could be good because he's all AP. But I think I'll just go Kriblum. Because you have to realize that once I get Kriblum and I have over 1000 AP, my healing aura on Kriblum is gonna heal way more than anything you've seen. It's stronger than Redemption, I swear. I love Rakan. I love playing with Rakan. He's just like my champ is just perma laughing while team fighting. Automatically. Uh -oh. oh, that was a beautiful game.